everyone, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. It is so good to see you guys today. Today's video is a full face makeup tutorial and I feature the Marc Jacobs The Wild One palette. This palette is stunning. So I created this beautiful greenish blue halo eye and it was really easy to achieve. So if you'd like to see how I did it, please keep on watching. Bye guys. So I'm taking my Too Faced Hangover Primer and it is very well loved and very used as you can see. And I'm pumping a little bit of that onto my hands and I'm pressing that into my face to prepare it for foundation. And I know there's like a little white spot that I missed on my cheek. It is annoying me too, but I missed it. It was hard to see on my little camera screen, so yeah. So now I'm going into my foundation, which is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. I'm obsessed with it. It gives my skin such a beautiful dewy finish. And it's pretty, I wouldn't say full coverage, but it's medium to full coverage. And I like uh, applying this with my beauty blender to give the most airbrushed like effect. So yeah, that is what I'm doing. I am putting this on the face. Now I'm going into concealer and I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked, Naked Skin Concealer? Naked Concealer. What am I doing? I don't know. But I'm putting this underneath my eyes to cover those dark circles and again I'm applying that with my Beauty Blender. Now I'm going into my Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm mixing the Banana Shade and the Shimmery Shade to set that concealer underneath my eyes and I feel like this makes them look the most bright. Now I'm going into my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium, and I'm pressing that onto my skin to set my foundation. And then to bronze, I'm going into my Hourglass Radiant Bronze Bronzer. And I love it because it is a shimmery bronzer, and it's not like super shimmery like you're a disco ball, but I really, really like how this looks on my skin because I have these dry patches that just won't pick up color, and I feel like this hides that. So that is why I love to use this kind of bronzer. And now I'm going into my blush, and that is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso to give my cheeks a nice corally glow. Now I'm going into my Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit, and I'm going into that first shade, and it is the shade Eclipse. Sorry, I was reading my notes. And I'm putting that on my cheekbones. I love it because it has like a pinkish coral or undertone, which is super pretty. Now I am filling in those brows with my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I feel like I'm using a lot of Anastasia products, but I just love them. So I kind of trace my brow first and then I fill in like the brush, like hair, like strokes with my brush. I cannot speak today. And then I am going over with a spoolie um, and I'm using a little mascara wand because my other, my spoolie on my Anastasia Brow Wiz uh, broke off and that is to mix up the color. Sorry, I'm going really fast here. And then I'm just setting with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel so they don't move anywhere. Then I'm going to set my face using the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. This is so gorgeous. It gives your skin such a nice glowy finish, which I adore, and it makes your makeup last. So now I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape just to prime those eyes, and I'm blending it with my Beauty Blender, obviously. Now I'm going into the star of the show, the Marc Jacobs The Wild One Palette. The first shade that I'm going into is White Elephant, and that is just to set that concealer. And then I'm going into the shade Nine Lives, which is a taupe shade, and this is going to act as a transition color. Then I'm going into the shade Dog and Pony. Pretty interesting names over here. <laughs> and I am just deepening up that transition shade and giving it more dimension. And I'm also going on to the outer and inner corners of my eyes because I'm preparing my eyes for a halo eye. Preparing my eyeshadow for a halo eye. Now I'm going into the shade Peacocky. Yeah, Peacocky. It's a gorgeous greenish blue shade. Kind of reminds me of Subculture a little bit. And I'm putting this on a V shape on the outer half of my eye and I'm going to put it on the inner half of my eye as well 
because I'm obviously doing a halo eye like I said but this color is just super super gorgeous and different and the thing about it is that you wouldn't think that it is neutral but these colors are so wearable that they kind of are neutral like neutral colors which is super amazing but you'll see like at the end of this eye look you'll see that I can wear this anywhere and it'll be okay and I'm wearing like blue green on my eyes so that is what I love about this palette Now I'm going into the shade Crow's Nest just to deepen up the halo eye a little bit and give it a little more dimension. And again, I'm doing the V-like shape on the outer half of my eye just to, just because I felt like it, because it looks cool. Now I'm going back into Peacocky and just putting a, the lightest amount through my crease just to blend that all together. Now I'm going back into those previous shades that I put into my crease and putting that underneath my eye to connect all the eye looks together. That didn't make sense, but that's okay. Now I'm going into Peacocky again and I'm putting that underneath my eyes as well and I'm keeping it closer to the lash line. And I'm also connecting it with my outer V. Now I'm going into the shade Early Bird and I'm putting that on my brow bone as well as the inner corner of my eye just to add a highlight. Now I'm going into the shade Golden Fleece and I'm spraying it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and I, this is what is going to go into the center of my eyeball. Now I'm going to take my Kat Von D ink liner in the shade Trooper and I'm going to put a cat eye on my eye, as you can see. And I'm also dipping into my Maybelline gel liner and I know I'm pulling really hard on that. I, I just, I have to when I apply it on, on my inner rim. But yeah, just applying black liner on my inner rims. And then I'm going in with a little bit of mascara just to darken up those lashes. And then I'm gonna put some false lashes on. And I used my MAC in Extreme Dimension Mascara, but I honestly just used it to darken up the lashes and to put some on my lower lashes, obviously, as I'm doing now. Now I'm going into the shade, it's the Marc Jacobs Lip Cream in Slow Burn. It's a beautiful pinkish nude shade and I'm putting this on my lips, obviously, and then I'm going to top it off with the Marc Jacobs Lip Liqueur in Sugar Sugar Enamored. I love saying lip liqueur. Look here. Look here. And that is the finished look. So this is the finished look using my Marc Jacobs The Wild One palette. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like it if you've liked it and remember to subscribe to my channel down below so you can see more videos like this one and I will see you guys next time. Bye!